have a real heart for those who serve in nonprofit and do the work of nonprofit. Executive directors in particular find themselves in a almost no man's land between serving the needs of the board and serving the needs of the staff and serving the needs of the organization. They as human beings, as people with their needs and hopes and dreams can easily get lost. And Baptist Healing Trust made the commitment years ago to bring something different to the nonprofit community, to offer the opportunity to see each other past the titles, to really see the human and the person that we encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. I looked at my executive director where I used to work and I thought, who supports them? I mean, they, they, they can't go to their board really with the true issues that are going on. They can't go to their staff and who, so who, who supports them? And so speaking with Kathy Self over the past five or six years, creating a space where executive directors can come and support each other. How do you create this space in a business-like setting and use it to create trust, to create community, to build bridges of empathy and deeper understanding of each other? So this is an opening, and I'll read this once. This is by Judy Brown. What makes a fire burn is space between the logs, a breathing space. Too many logs packed in too tight can douse the flames as a pail of water would. So building fires requires attention to the spaces in between as much as to the wood. I think we could all work all day, every day, uh, trying to get everything done that we have to get done, whether it's uh, grant administration, uh, carrying out our mission, whatever it may be, and creating that space is critical because that's where we think, and I know personally that's where I grow as a leader and am able to actually lead instead of administer uh, the duties of executive director. Having an opportunity to learn from other executive directors and CEOs has really given me, given me an opportunity to develop personally so that I'm a better leader at this point. It's transformed uh, my leadership ability in my organization and has allowed me to be a more complete uh, leader. It has given me the confidence in talking about issues with my peers uh, that just supports me in a way that leaders and executive directors of nonprofits don't get from anybody else. I was captivated by the idea of a place that would help uh, deal with my feelings of being burnt out, tired, isolated, and in need of refreshment. And I knew that I needed to be in a place where I could think ahead be strategic and have a perspective that was bigger picture. Good morning, my name is Laura Berland. I am the CEO of Renewal House here in Nashville. Um, we do family-based treatment for women and their children uh, where the family is struggling with addiction and mental health issues and poverty and usually a host of other barriers. Um, that work is really, really hard. Um, it's exhausting on all fronts. And what brings me back to circle every month is um, really the opportunity to hit pause on everything that's going on um, and to recenter myself. Renee Rizzo, CEO of Hope Clinic for Women. And I think a lot like Laura, um, the topic that we deal with every day is just draining and exhausting. So a chance to come here is a chance to kind of cleanse from that. It really forces me to listen more intentionally here, which allows me to listen more intentionally back at the office. This program is the safest and most natural way for you to grow um, as a human being and grow as a leader. It feeds your soul. It gets you to slow down and be thoughtful and listen. And I mean really listen and be really present. And that makes a happier and healthier CEO. And it makes your staff happier, which makes your board happier and your clients happier. Um, so it's just amazing. Being around other executive directors in a circle setting it gave the vantage point for me to take a breath, reprioritize, and then take some steps to actually um, build a habit of planning and dreaming that has helped our organization. The circle process opens up the opportunity to innovate, 
in, in hierarchical organizations, the ability to um, challenge processes, but to do so safely and, and openly and honestly. I think there's such an urgency sometimes in what we do and the desire to like succeed and, and to just want to rush everything and make everything a sprint and I think taking that time to kind of step back and properly think through things and give that space is, is allows us to do our work better. I leave feeling renewed and excited about the work that I'm doing again and ready to go back out there and, and take on different challenges and look at problems from a different perspective. and and really find solutions. You're able to take your personal journey and um, reflect what's going on in the bigger picture. I would advise anyone who has the opportunity to be a part of Executive Peer Circle to go into that opportunity with openness and with uh, eagerness to both give and receive from that time. We believe that this is hitting a need and scratching an itch that's not met anywhere else within our community. And as long as people are willing to come, we are going to be willing to provide the resources to help fulfill that need. Mm -hmm.